Welcome to our new ministry here on the bread, honey, and the word of life. And we're going to start off today with a study on the original. There are people out there who think, you know, there is no Bible scripture. But if we had the original, if we had the, the, the writings of Paul, the actual writings, if we can find what Moses wrote, actually. So today we're going to look at Jeremiah chapter 36, and we're going to see, can we get Jeremiah chapter 36? Can we get that in the originals? Now, let me start also before we start reading. Let me tell you, the absolute final word of God. Is the King James 1611 authorized version. If you want something secondary to that, the Geneva Bible. You want your Bible that comes from Antioch, where they were first called Christians. Now, Jeremiah 36, it came to pass in the fourth year, Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. This was the word unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Take thee a roll of a book, a page, a roll of a scroll, writing, uh, paper, writing, tools, and write them all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel. So inspiration. First of all, we get inspiration that God spoke to Jeremiah. Where did, Je where did Jeremiah get chapter 36, our study today? He got it from God. He didn't get it from a guru. He didn't get it cross-legged. He didn't get it, you know, climbing a mountain. He got it from Jehovah God. Okay? That's, his, that's inspiration. And he spoke unto them against Israel, against Judah, and against all the... So, it's not a very good writing. It's judgment. Verse 4. And Jeremiah called Barak, the son of Neriah. And Barak wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord. So, Jeremiah is in prison. He calls Barak, and they're sitting there. He says, I want you to write... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What I dictate to you. What I say, you write. It's like in a courtroom. When people are, are in the witness stand, there's that person there with a typewriter. I don't know what they do today. And they're typing the exact words. And that the fact is, any lawyer, any judge is turned to that person and say, Can you tell us what the defendant said? Can you tell us what the witness said? And they'll go back and say, and read word for word. That's what Barak is doing. Barak is going to write from Jeremiah what Jeremiah said. And Barak is not going to put his own words. Barak is not going to put his own ideas. Barak is not going to get offended. He's going to write, not copy, write Jeremiah's words. Which words? Of the Lord, verse 4, which he spoke unto him. So Barak gets it from Jeremiah, inspiration. Jeremiah gets it from the Lord Jehovah, inspiration. That's where, that's where Jeremiah 36 comes from. From Jehovah God, I'm saying it because it's Jewish. From Jeremiah, a, a prophet of the tribe of Levi, priest, unto Barak. And Jeremiah commanded Barak, saying, I am shut up in prison. I cannot go to the house of the Lord. That's the temple. Therefore, go, though, and read in the roll. We would, we would have a book today. But you ever see a scroll? Which thou has written from my mouth. A dictation. The words of the Lord. What I spoke to you, Barak, are Jehovah's words. Now you write them down. Plain and simple. The words of the Lord 
That's what it is. Jeremiah 36 is not idea, thoughts, intention. It is the word of the Lord. To the people in the Lord's house fast in that day, and also thou shalt read them in the ears of all Jew that came out of their city. Okay? So God spoke, talk about this one chapter, 36. God spoke to Jeremiah, and Jeremiah wrote, and we're not going to take the time to read it, but there's judgment. God spoke to Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah the prophet is in jail. He calls Barak. He says, get yourself what we would say paper. And write what I tell you, what God told you. That's all inspiration. That is all the hand of man. People say, you know, men wrote the Bible. Yeah, Barak wrote the, wrote the Bible. Jeremiah wrote the Bible. And God told them to write it. God Jehovah. Not all of them. The, all of okay. So verse 8, Barak reads it to the people faithfully. And they, they hear the words. And they kind of get frightened, which is good. Then it's read before the king. Verse 17. And they asked Barak, saying, Tell us now, how does the write all these words in his mouth? All right, how'd you do it? How did chapter 36, and they don't have 36 and verse numbers in that time, but in your Bible, chapter 36, how did chapter 36 come to be? Barak says, verse 18, then Barak answers that he pronounced all these words unto me from his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Okay? And then from Jeremiah. So I wrote what Jeremiah said that God said. Now I'm reading it to you. And that's what happens when you read your Bible. You know, the first five books, the Pentateuch, you are reading what God told Moses. And there are events in there that Moses wrote just for our information. Okay? When you read the, the Gospels and you got the red writing, that you are reading what Jesus said. Penned by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And they don't put their own words. They don't liven it up. They don't correct it. They just follow what God said. So 24, the king sent Jehudi to fetch the row, and he took it out of Elishma's, the scribe's hand, chamber, and Jehudi read it in the ears of the king and the ears of all the people which stood beside the king. All right, here's that roll of God to Jeremiah to Baruch. The king is reading the original. This is the original. Got it? Here it is. Jeremiah 36, where we are is the original in a scroll, handwritten by Baruch. Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. And it came to pass that when Jehu had read three or four leaves, we would say pages, he cut it. The roll, the book, chapter 36. He cut chapter 36 with a pen knife. And cast it unto the fire that was on the earth, unto unto all the row was consumed to the fire that was on the earth. Okay, so you want the originals? What we just read, right? Where did we read? Do you want the originals of Jeremiah thirty six? Because the originals was cut and burned by the king.
If you have the originals of Jeremiah 36, you have a bag of ashes. Jehoiakim burned the originals. Are you getting what I said? There is no way for you to get a copy to read of the originals of Jeremiah 36 where we are now. No way. Read on. Chapter 36. To, uh, verse 6, 27. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah after the king had burned the roll. And the words which, Jer which Barak wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, there goes the inspiration again. It's ashes now. It's gone. Take the another roll. Write it right in it all the former words. Well, I didn't read them, but you know, go back and read chapter 36. That were in the first roll, ashes, which Jeho Jehoiakim the king of Judah had burned. Okay. Here we go again. Baruch. We're gonna rewrite. We have to rewrite. It's ashes. And our Rewriting comes from God. Verse 32, chapter 36. Then took Jeremiah another roll, gave it to Barak the scribe. Oh, look at that. Barak, the scribe was in charge of the word. The, the scribe was in charge of the rolls. That was his duty. That was his job. So here's a scribe writing the word of God of Jeremiah from Jehovah God. A prophet and a scribe. Muhammad was not a prophet. Neither was he a scribe. The son of Neriah who wrote them from the mouth of the Jeremiah, all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, had burned in the fire, the originals. We got a second copy. And there were added besides unto them many like words. So the original is ashes. God caused Jeremiah to write again. Baruch takes his pen and writes again. And you go back and read chapter 36. And then it is what you would call, there is an addition to chapter 36 that had the king not burned the roll, You would not have 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Chapter 20, I mean, chapter 36, verse 28 to 32 are in addition to the original Jeremiah 36, which is ashes. There's your original. And you say, well, where's the original copy? I don't care. God has preserved his word. He has promised to, to preserve his word. I believe Jeremiah 36 in the King James Bible. I don't need the original. I could not read the original. How's that? Now, one more. I'll give you two. 51. Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah again. Uh, Jeremiah 51, 63. Okay. Here we go. The original. And it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book. Okay. This is the original. I would assume that this book 
would be the 51 chapters of Jeremiah. And they didn't have chapter markings, but our Bibles do. Thank God. Thank the Holy Spirit for the, the verse numbers. I believe the book is the, is the 51 chapters that we're at right now. So there's the original of Jeremiah, I believe. I could be wrong. And if, I'm, if I am wrong, Lord, I apologize by the blood of Jesus Christ. But I believe the book is the book of Jeremiah. So there it is. The original. The originals of chapter 36 burnt up. So 36, he says, Thou shalt bind a stone to it. Tie a rock to the book. And cast it into the midst of the Euphrates. There's the, where's the originals of the book? If it's the book of Jeremiah or if it's another book. Where are the originals? At the bottom of the Euphrates. And if you ever found that, that book, you can't. It's been dissolved by water and, and, and everything in the water. And it being covered with mud. And if you did find that original, and you brought it to me, and I brought it to my pastor, and my pastor and I sat down, and, and we called a couple of others in church, we sat down, opened that book, we couldn't read it. It would do us no good. That would be like giving me a cookbook in Spanish. I can't read it. So we have the originals that were burned all up. We have the originals that is at the bottom of the Euphrates River. There's the originals. And yet when you have a King James 1611... 1611 Bible, you got the Word of God preserved exactly how He wants it. You don't need to add, subtract, or modify, or you know, make it up to date with, with you know the idiots in the generation. You take, get yourself a King James Bible and leave it alone. And a handy companion Bible would be the Geneva Bible. Thank you very much.